are you, Mr. James Randi, on a quest concerning the way the media handle people like Yuri Geller, Shar, uh, Derek Ogilvie? Oh yes, I always have been. The media is, in my opinion, largely responsible for the popularity of this nonsense that these people carry on. The media, by and large, doesn't care. What they want is to please the sponsors and sell the products. And bottom line, if that's the bottom line that they have, sell the products, then of course they will prostitute themselves. They will go to any length. Now, a good example is a man named Montel Williams in the United States. Very honorable gentleman until he ran into the gimmick, which was when psychics appear on the program, you get twice as many listeners and viewers. He had a television program in which he had a woman named Sylvia Brown come in once a week. And then uh, after she'd been on for years doing this and getting a lot of money into her bank account, I'm sure as a result, he was asked on a radio program, and I have the recording of it, do you believe in psychics? And he said, no, no, of course not, especially Sylvia Brown. He said, but why do you have her on the program? Because she brings me sponsors. Now, this is what's called in the media trade in the United States, at least, a media whore. Someone who doesn't care whether they harm people, cost them money, or emotional security loss. But that, of course, is an important point, because then you're saying uh, it truly affects people, uh, it harms people. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's very damaging, because people will change their philosophies, they'll change the direction of their thinking, and... and, and But in a, in a harming way? Oh, yes, oh, yes, because if they start to believe in silly things that don't exist and they believe that these powers are there, they'll turn away from medical help and they'll go for some sort of faith healing. Uh, and that's only one small example of it, but it costs lives every year. You've had your attention, your media attention, uh, uh, when uh, you were debunking, let's call it that way, uh, Yuri Geller on uh, American National TV. Um, Johnny Carson it was? That's right. Yeah. Yes. Um, still, th that was a man people believed in. Many and, and people did. Many yes. people did, yes. yes. Uh, and, and you proved it was a scam. Yes. Still, you were amazed about the little effect oh, yes. it had, what you did. People prefer the woo-woo. They yeah. like it. It's romantic. It's easy to think of and it's easy to accept because they see the media in general and a lot of scientists as well shame on them accepting this sort of thing but you used a word a moment ago you said that i debunked them no no i don't debunk strictly speaking what i do is i investigate because to say that i debunk something a claim that's made of some kind of a supernatural power to say that i debunk it means i go into it with the attitude this is not true and i'm going to show you that it's not true but I can't have that opinion if I haven't investigated it. After the investigation, mind you, I may very well end up debunking it, but not until I do the initial thing, which is to investigate it. But my point about uh, the American show with Yuri Gelli was uh, there was little or m maybe no effect in what you did, uh, I, I guess, because they are still popular people oh. like Yuri Geller, like Sharon. Like oh, yes, very, very true, yes. And Char has done very well over so here. Are, are you getting, aren't you getting depressed by that? Oh, no, I don't get depressed by it, no. At all. <laughs> well, I'm depressed over the, the ignorance of the people out there and the gullibility of the, of the audience who sit there with tears running down their face while Char tells them things that they already knew and things that are so obvious. You know, you're a very generous person, you know, but many people think you aren't. What a revelation. <laughs> Damn, how did she come up with something as brilliant as that? And then guessing initials and such. Who is M? Why don't okay. you tell me who M is instead of asking me who M is? Right. You could argue the TV show is just uh, giving a platform for someone who runs a show. Yeah. Oh, yes. That's so so is, is the media wrong, doing wrong? Oh, yes. They're doing wrong when they don't make it clear okay. that this is for entertainment purposes only. Now, mind you, if they say that in a little logo on the bottom of the screen, entertainment purposes only, yeah. no one's going to read that. There should be a definitive statement made saying these claims have not been established as being true. Have you had yourself um, uh, experienced the effect of uh, doing readings and people coming to you saying, you've got the power? Oh, as a kid, I started out doing mentalism. 
uh, and I'm talking about the age of 17, 18 or so, and I was doing nightclub work at that time, and I actually had people come to the residence where I stayed and beg me to tell them what horses were going to win races, for example. And I turned it down. I would not do it. And they were very angry, saying, you won't share your gifts with us. I'll split the proceeds with you, and I'll pay you this, and I'll pay... Incredible that you are sought out because you seem to be claiming that you have some sort of supernatural power. Now, mind you, when I performed as a mentalist, I always left the table where I had been performing. I did it in nightclubs, you see. And I would always say, remember, this is an act. Okay. I'm doing tricks. Right. But they didn't want to believe it. Should broadcast stations have some sort of code? I would think that they would. They would have, should have some sort of standards. But they don't. They don't, unfortunately. And television channels are the same as radio programs, are the same as Internet programs and such. Something has got to be done about this. I think I, I'm, I'm not for legislation to get rid of it, but I am for rules and regulations that would limit these people's ability to take advantage of the public. Do you think uh, in the broadcast world uh, something ever will change? <laughs> I wish I knew, but I'm not a <laughs> prognosticator. I can't tell the future, you see. I can look into my crystal ball and read my tarot cards, and I don't think I'd have much of an answer. I wish I had an answer to that. I should have seen that one coming. <laughs> well, you should have been able to prophesy it. <laughs> Thank you very much. A pleasure, sir.